Hello, and thanks for joining. Last video was, um, I think, a bit of an update in terms of where I had started to do some motor work. Um, so this is a bit of a continuation from that. Obviously, um, I don't claim to be anywhere near an electrician, as you can, anybody that's good with electrics will tell. Um, this is an absolute mess, uh, but I'm learning, and it's completely new. Um, so under here, uh, as you can see, these are the uh, these are the, the droppers for the track. Um, but over in this corner and temporarily attached to this uh, terminal block is a Rails of Sheffield uh, point motor, which has all been wired up. Uh, it sits in here. I don't know if I can get the camera to zoom better. Here we go. It sits underneath a little perspex um, shield that I've made, which will hopefully stop too much ballast and other rubbish going underneath and of course uh, when I come down to put glue glue down um, you really don't want it to go onto the motor because that will be a bit of bad so uh, I'll need to just sort out this edge as well make sure there's no chance it could down maybe a bit of masking tape or something on the corners um, but yeah so basically the black and the red is the is either side of the of the motor um, and obviously when it's charged, it pulls the pin in the middle um, to and forward. So a solenoid motor um, does. Uh, well, solenoid po point control, I guess. I don't even know if it's called a motor, but hey -o. Um The green is the common, and that then takes the um, power back or creates the circuit back to the CDU, which I've got here. And the CDU is just connected to the uh, gauge master controller that's somewhere down uh, here at the moment. Um, I don't know if that's how I will do it eventually because actually I, the, that means I've basically got cables coming up all over the place on this, uh, which is supposed to be handheld, which is great, but I don't really want to be pulling cables all the way around everywhere. So yeah, um, I'm trying to think of what to do. Maybe I'll create like a little fascia board or something um, because I'm going to see how only have really one point to hit here because the idea will be that over on this side, uh, this passing loop point will uh, switch at the same time as this one. So when this switches to the outer track on the station, or platform two, I guess as you call it, or track two, um, that one will do the same. And then vice versa, when it switches again, they'll both, they'll both uh, pop back. And all that will be is then a cable running from over there uh and into the same terminal block and if i get the polarity around the right way uh connected either to the black or the, or the, or the red here so um yeah so that so then what i have done temporarily is have the uh, have a go at taking one of these things from a um what is it from a, a meter multimeter just take it from multimeter um and you can see all right if i can get it right when I hit these, these are these crocodile clips are connected to the point basically. So when I go over side, um, you should hear a clank and you should see something happen. So that's as simple as I can make it. Um, seems to work a treat. <coughs> um, obviously, if I had <coughs> switches, I could use those, but I quite like the. Uh, Quite like the effect of using that. It's quite cool, quite simple. Uh, but I will probably invest in getting some little switches, you know, momentary sw switches that I could just have on a board or something. Um, yeah, because it has just become a bit of a problem. I realised as I was sort of up here starting a lot of the scenics and stuff, um, even just when I was test running, having to... I know the, the, the cabin's messy uh, as it is, but... And I know it won't be this messy forever, but it's still like I have to get down, jump down, and go and uh, change the points on the other side and that and all that. So it'd be nice to have like a central control. Um, another update is I've gone. This is my method that I'm adopting now. So I am basically using the pins to uh, hold it down the track and then coat it in PVA <coughs> glue. When it's in position and it seems to have done the trick on the other uh, and everything else um all the other tracks so far 
checkpoint seems to work okay and um yeah so i'm just kind of taking out really slow doing a piece at a time um on this bit here where there was some uh, gaps between the bottom of the sleeper to the cork because of the unevenness of the of the board underneath i've just put in some of the uh, copy decks obviously it's a bit of a flexible adhesive so the copy decks will go in there and just again hold that down i've done that on both these sides <clears throat> yeah so just kind of frying things at it actually and hoping things stick um <laughs> that's the technical term uh update on this i actually quite i'm quite impressed with my effort here so as you can see i've now got the pictures on the side of uh the dapol booking hall uh it looks quite good i've obviously got to finish some of the painting of the windows and, and things but the majority of the weathering's done um you know it's supposed to be a relatively old unkept station over here so um yeah it's not going to be squeaky squeaky clean so it looks all right i think um a bit empty you know i'd like it to kind of appear like there's more inside so i, I might do some work on that but i think that's going to be the, the basically the building that's over here this is a cardboard it costs like a fiver so I, and i just kind of fancied having something to build so um that looks quite good. Um, the only thing about card, I just don't, I just don't find the weathering of card very easy. Um, I seem to I feel like I can get on with the plastic weathering, but I don't know if anybody's got any tips. But I just can't get, it, I can't get the same sort of effect with with the card. Although to be fair, I'm not giving it a go on that one. Um, over here, oh yeah, the other other pieces that I've been been doing. So not a lot has changed over this side so yeah basically been doing the electrics not making much progress um and sticking down bits of track as and when i get the time so over next week or so probably get the point in over this side uh get the point motor all fitted in there and do some more wiring underneath but that's the progress not much